Hey there folks, Caleb Nanning with SDI, and real quick, I'm gonna talk to you why you should do more than just three shots when doing a total confirmation of zero, or checking zero over time. So here's an instance where we have four different targets, five shots on each target. If you had just three shots, let's take this target for example, and we have these three shots, nice tight group, this is a 25 yards with the pistol off of a, you know, a rest basically. Um, this is a decent, nice little group. However, we have these two shots over here. So that can tell us things. That can say, maybe these are flyers. Maybe these are me moving. Maybe this is just the accuracy capability of the pistol. You go down here to this target and you have three shots basically touching the sticker and then two shots a little bit pushed right of the target. The interesting thing really is, is that all these shots, all these targets were taken with this pistol and nothing was done to the optic, nothing was done to anything. I just shot five group, five rounds, marked a target, five rounds, marked a target. And what that tells me is that consistently there is some impact to the right. So I need to correct for that. But what that also tells me is that a lot of these shots that are way off over here, that's me flinching, that's me moving, that's me doing something because the majority of the group is to the right. So if I just did a single three shot group, yes, this one might've been right, but this one would have been completely wrong. I don't know what I was doing down here to get my shots on target when the consistent pattern shows that I need to correct and move my impacts to the left. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. I hope I didn't muddy the waters too much. I think it's interesting. Um, I think, I mean, ammo costs and all being what it is, depending on what caliber you're shooting, you may not be able to go out and shoot four or five shot groups. But if you have the ability to do that, you know, in the, in the rounds to do that, I highly recommend you do it because you might learn something that you didn't know if you just do a simple three round group. Anyway, hope you found it interesting and helpful. Let me know what you guys think about that. Do you just stick with three rounds, five rounds, 10 round groups? What do you do? All right. Y'all be good to be safe. Appreciate you and hopefully we'll catch you in the next video. See ya.